it's time to dive into oil and things are getting hot. Hot and extremely spicy. Oh my god. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where last time we started production in our main base and now have a fully operational storage room. Okay, well not fully operational, but it has 90% of the items we need. We still have to automate some of the more complicated items. But this will absolutely do for now. Oh, also, there's another update where textures have been changed and the things are different. Where now the AI limiters are looking mighty spicy, circuit boards have a new design, and the main thing is the power poles are looking, uh, you know, different. A lot different. And I was really interested in the comments you guys were gonna leave in the last video. And it seems to be 50-50. Half of people love them, half of people do not love them. <laughs> and personally, I still kinda have to get used to them. However, that is not our concern today. Because now that we have an operational storage room, it is time to advance to tiers five and six. And to do that, we need 500 smart plating, 500 versatile frames, and 100 automated wires. And now with all this, we enter the future. So, seal the deal, and let's send it off. Tiers five and six, oh boy. I never noticed the, red, the lights were red on that. That is fantastic. And with that, we're gonna be able to get Mark IV belts. We're gonna be able to get into oil, brother. And a whole lot more. Mainly though, I really want the Mark IV belts. So let's see what we got going here. Oil processing, ooh. Fuel is looking different. Oh, it's just a pipe, I see. Yeah, but there's rubber. Can actually scan for it. Petroleum coke. A carbon rich material, da 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 da. Oil resid, what? A carbon rich material distilled from heavy oil residue, used as a less efficient coal replacement or for aluminum refinement. Oh, 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 oh. that is very, very interesting. Circuit boards, we know the deal there. Plastic, oh boy. All right, that's the old oil memes. Industrial manufacturing, oh no. <laughs> Well, there's our spicy new manufacturer with the new model in update three, which looks amazing. I absolutely love it. Our trucks, computers, and <laughs> project part number four. Oh boy. Modular engine, an adaptive control unit. Yeah. So I assume we need these for tiers seven and eight. And then we got alternative fluid transport. Whoa, dude. Packaged water? <gasps> okay, so we can package this and send it to wherever we want. So that is fantastic. That means we don't have to have pipes across the entire map. But we're still gonna do that, because it'll look awesome. And also, I am near certain that this is gonna cost like a little bit of plastic. Along with the empty canisters, probably the same deal. So you put like fuel into the canister. Boom, you have packaged fuel. It's right there, okay. Packaged oil, okay, and oh yeah, fuel has to go in through, oh my gosh. Fuel goes through pipes now. Oh, oh my god, oh that is gonna be sick. I am excited for that. Uh, heavy oil residue, uh, liquid biofuel, and then of course the gas mask. Oh my gosh, oh there is so much going on here, brother. But the main thing, oh ho 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 ho. The Mark IV conveyor belts, <laughs> Heavy modular frames, computers, and rubber. Oof, that's not good. But oh, we need this so bad. The two most important things in tiers five and six, in my opinion, are the Mark IV belts and the fuel generators, because now we can expand our power incredibly, like, wildly. And then Mark IV belts just are the bee's knees. Like, perfect for the mid game in dealing with 
super big production lines. So that's hyper omega important. Uh, Jetpack, we all know it, we all love it. Monorail tech, okay, all is the same, except now there's a fluid transport uh, platform. So I guess the freight cars can handle fluids and solids. Okie dokie. Yeah, that sounds all good. All right then. I guess first order of business is going through oil processing. Oh, but we need motors. We never automated those. Oh, <laughs> whoops. We should probably do that, eh? And okay, that only took a second. We have pretty much everything in our starter bases, so it's not hard to just whip two lines together and call it a day. And look at that, 100 motors, easy peasy. So now we can go and unlock the oil. Oh baby. So motors are in, beams, other things. Go, be gone to the great sky creature we call the rocket. There we go. Launch the pod. And this is the first pod we've actually launched in this entire Milestone list. Milestone reached. Oil acquisition and refining unlocked. Oil-based products can now be made. The byproducts of oil refinement can be used after further processing, as seen in the refinery. Caution. This is a reminder to minimize the chance of expiration during out-of-base activities. Yep, we gotta enter the danger zone, brother, to find that oil. Cause it ain't on our doorstep, let me tell ya. But more important than finding the oil is I wanna check out, not that, an oil refinery. Because I wanna see what's going on with the recipes here. Like, what is the petroleum coke? Where Does that leave the machine or like, how, how does anything work now? Everything is so different. Like, the coal plants, they're a nice little intro to waterworks and stuff. These fuel things are gonna be the hot spice. So let's see what's going on. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, oh, there's just the water. Okay, so there's the liquid and a item entrance and exit now. Okay, not too much different. The design looks pretty much the same. Cool little tube on the back, I like it. And it's very big. But oh my god, steamed copper plate? What? Oh, oh, I see. I must have unlocked this on a live stream or something. Oh, and same with these ones. So these are like incredible alternate recipes where you just combine like normal ore with water and you get like twice the amount of um, ingots. It's extremely good. Uh, same with concrete too. But we're not gonna deal with those for a long time here. This is what I wanna see. So, byproduct of plastic and rubber production can be, oh, what? Two plastic one meter cubed of heavy oil residue? Solid, oh, solid oil pro products. Residual plastic, oh, and, oh, the recipe. Okay, so this is like three oil to one, or two plastic, and then it makes the residue, I guess. Okay, petroleum coke is made just with the residue. You use, what? You use some blue rock <laughs> and water to make residual plastic, and the same thing to, with water to make rubber, and then fuel, polymer resin. Oh, that's the blue thing, okay. So yeah, you can use that to make fuel and residual fuel. Okay, <laughs> this is so different. Like what, what is this? What's the resin thing? How do you make that? Is it made in here? No circuit boards are though. Plastic and copper now, okay. It's not actually too different. But where's the resin at? Constructor? Hello? What? How do you make it? Because you get the byproduct. What's the byproduct? Is that the resin? I am just not sure. I think then we just YOLO it and we're just gonna build an oil extractor and then set up a refinery and see what happens. 
And where is the closest supply of oil? I know there's a ton beyond that cliff there, but I just want to see maybe there's a new source in the desert. Highly unlikely, but you never know. So what do we got? Yeah, way over that way. Okay, around there. And then there's just a ton in this area. Yeah, it's starting to scan those. So I guess we will go and look at this source here and just make some kind of like experimental setup. Alrighty though. Oil fields, hello, 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 hello. We really should have brought a weapon out here. My bad. We are going to not deal with you. There we go. Now we can have our own fun. So let us build, doodly doodly do, an oil extractor. Awesome. Same product, oh, okay. Yep, this is all different now. It's still 60 crude oil per minute. It's crude oil. Okie dokie. And then we have our refinery here, which we can't build anymore. <laughs> Whoops. Aha, uh -huh, so now we got the wacky stick, and while I was grabbing stuff, I brought over a new hyper tube so we can get back here real nice and quick. Anyway, though, let's check out the refinery and let's see how things go here. So it's pretty straightforward. We just have the refinery, we connect up a pipe, and we hook up some power. Yes? Hello? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No need for a pump, the pressure is fine. We're on flat ground. Okay, oh, I missed that. Okay, so this is how you get the residue stuff. And that residue, oh, and that's how you make the plastic and, it, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. So let's say we wanna make some plastic then, right? 30 per minute? So now we're making the plastic. Oh my gosh, <laughs> oh, this is uh, this is crazy. And we're getting the residue. So the residue has to be piped out and re-refined. Whereas the plastic, we just like vamoose. And it's taking 30 crude oil per minute. Okay. And uh, this thing can produce 60 because it's an impure node, I'm sure. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, though, we do have that residue stuff now, so what do? We can just make fuel with it? Oh, that is... That is weird. Okay. It looks like we just make fuel. Is that the case? Or we make this petroleum coke, and we're gonna have to make a ton of that later for a tier 7. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is so much more complicated than before. Everything is crazy. Now we got fuel. This takes 60 per minute. And this produces 10 per minute. Okay. Wow. That's not a lot of residual heavy oil stuff. For the time being then, we are just going to set this guy down. Let this build up a ton of plastic. And then we're gonna check out how to package everything here. And check out the other techs. Because I feel like just, woof, just having the oil alone without any of the other tech doesn't really make sense. Like we need like the whole picture and we've only been given like a piece of it. Oh, uh, this is it. Packaged oil, the package stuff, the industrial fluid buffer, pretty important. Okay, that packages things, so I guess we don't really need that, except for, for the fuel. Oh, but that's how we get the fuel out of the system, because we don't have the extra power now. Where's the power? Wait, did we unlock the power? No. What? Where is it? Here it is, an expanded infrastructure. So until we get the fuel generators unlocked, we don't have a use for the fuel. Okay, you know what? I gave it a bunch of thought, and I think the most important thing for us is the expanded power here. The Mark IV belts, critical, and the fuel generators actually are extremely important too. Because when we're making all of the plastic stuff, fuel is a byproduct, and we simply need to get rid of it. And also, our poultry little power grid is not having a good time with all of the new stuff, so it would be nice if we had an extra little supply. So oh, what do we need here then? A lot of stuff, I'm sure. Uh, rubber, uh, the heavy modular frames, we found a bunch near drop pods. And then computers. Do we have a hundred computers? 
Well, we found a bunch of those in your drop pods as well, but do we have a hundred? That is 96. Uh. Okay. <laughs> We're literally only three short. Three. Fantastic. And please, okay, we have the modular frames. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is a disaster, though. E disaster. And that's because, unfortunately, we can't actually craft the computers. So, we have to unlock them first. Oh boy. Oh boy! So we have to unlock them. That's gonna cost us more plastic and rubber. Fantastic. Okay, and then we can get that. Well, lucky for me though, I went AFK and had a snack, so guess what? Boom. Stuff for days. How much plastic? All of it? It's all right, we got it. And let's just grab 400 of each. And we should be able to unlock everything, right? Probably? Maybe we'll probably have to get a couple more things? Maybe, probably not, maybe, hopefully not? What's going on? Ah, uh, yes. Only a thousand cable, why not? Well, let's quickly pick that up. And a handful of extra motors. How many are we at now? Oh yeah, we have 100. Good, excellent. That means a new tech, uh, get. Okay, and yeah, industrial manufacturing. Good, just wanted to double check. We don't have a lot of plastic and rubber. Don't want to be wasting Milestone it. Milestone reached. The manufacturer increases production complexity. A critical look at production line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. The truck allows for increased efficiency in transportation, automated or otherwise. New project parts enable progress to the next phase. All right, all right. A look at logistics? Hmm, yes. Soon. Soon. <laughs> but right now, I really want to check out the new recipe for computers. Or at least I assume there's going to be a new one. Like, circuit boards now take the copper sheets. AI limiters are actually, like, crazy cheap. Maybe. Like, all they take is copper sheet and quick wire. Yeah, that's crazy cheap. So I presume computers are gonna be way different too, right? Let's see. No! Cable, plastic, screws, and circuit boards. Okay. So that's, like, just the normal recipe. So we just have to craft, like, three computers and GG. Okay, hello, hello, Mr. Drop Pod. Welcome back. I have more goodies for you. More things to unlock. Making you busy, busy today, brother. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good drop pod. Excellent. So, now let's unlock. Do, 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 do. do. Expanded power infrastructure. Oh my god, in the Mark IV belts. <laughs> the horrific things we're gonna be doing with them. So much, so much is possible. Anyway though, all is good in the world. Goodbye, uh, Potterino. Milestone reached. The fuel Doodle generator do. will match power generation to the increased consumption of recently acquired technologies and buildings. Additionally, improved conveyor belts and lifts can now be constructed. Caterium scanning unlocked. Excellent. All right, so that's the fuel generator. Mean thing just so we can mess around with more fuel stuff today. And then the last thing I want is the alternative fluid transport, just so we can have fun and mess around with it. And while we wait for the drop pod, super quick, let's check out all the new stuff we got. Manufacture, doesn't look like much has changed with that. Takes 55 megawatts per, mm, is that increased? Probably not, can't remember it's been so long. And then the fuel generator, Oh god, no! This takes more computers! Oof, that's not good. And quick wire now. Wait, that takes five different items to craft? Brother, relax. We're gonna have to do something there. Mark four belts though, still takes the encased industrial beams. Excellent. Very good indeed. And that is it for now, right? Just the truck? Yee. And speaking of, now that we have computers unlocked and all these new items, I wonder what kind of alternate recipes we could get. So let's just throw one in the ma'am and kind of see what happens. 
And look at that, the timing couldn't be better. Well, it could be 21 seconds better, but essentially, this and the pod will be returning at the same time. So, cool. It's just gonna be a moment. Okay, cool, and I wonder what we got. Hopefully something spicy spicy. Who knows? Well, hopefully an alternate computer recipe and a little less leg. Ooh, okay, got my wish. Nice. Okay, that's not, is that much better? Screws are taken out of the equation, that's nice. I'm going to presume then that there's this other alternate recipe that only uses a, whoa, what is it called? A crystal oscillator and a circuit board. So you could build uh, computers in an assembler. That's like my favorite alternate computer recipe. It is like the cat's pajamas. So I don't really care about this one then. Uh, alternate cable that uses oil for cable? <laughs> Good meme. Oh, but here we go. Now we got something spicy. Fuel, oh, okay. So plastic and fuel to make rubber. Hmm. Well, when we make plastic, we make uh, the fuel essentially as a byproduct. So that's like changing the fuel into rubber. That's really, really good. I think I want that. All right, cool. I'll mess around with that a little bit too. Anyway though, let's go unlock even more technology. Ooh, and look at that sunrise on the base. Mm-mm-mm, spicy, spicy. Anyway though, what are we actually unlocking? It's been like forever, eh? Ah yes, alternative fluid transport. So motors, plastic, wire, and we had a couple more modular frames in our from drop pods, yeah. So boom, more tech. Milestone reached. Fluids can now be packaged to allow for transportation via vehicle and conveyor belts. Additionally, highly improved biofuel can now be produced. Okay. Where did the drop pod go? Just decided never to come back. Okay. I guess I had to restart my game session for that to happen. Hmm. Hmm. That's weird. Uh, regardless though, we now have all the tech I wanted. And now we can do some spicy, spicy stuff. First off, we check the new things. Which were... Aha, the industrial fluid buffer, which takes heavy modular frames. Fantastic, we don't have those automated yet. Uh, but this can contain up to 1,200 of fluid. Meters cubed, right? A fluid, yeah. So that is, but wow, okay. Four times the amount of the buffer. Not bad, not bad. Then what else was there? I think that was it, right? Oh yeah, all the items, of course. So. This is the scary part. There's all the containers for items, and I'm just really, really, really hoping that they don't take plastic. Like, if fuel, like the packaged fuel thing, takes plastic, we're in for a bad time. Oh, please, please. Why? <laughs> there is the promised land where these empty canisters only took like, I don't know, an iron plate. And now this, 30 plastic per minute. Oh, we get, we do get like a lot of fuel cans. I guess it sucks, but okay. Where's the rest of the stuff though? Hello? Didn't we get like a quadrillion different like barrels? Do we have to make barrels in an assembler? Dude, don't do this to me, please. No? Well, let's find out what's going on here. So, unpackaged, oh, oh! It's called unpackaged fuel now. Very strange. Residual fuel. Oh my god, wow, you do so much with refineries now. This is nuts. Oh, and there's the packaged oil. Oh no! You have to make the, em the empty package thing and then oh, combine it. That's insane. For water as well? Dude. 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 Okay. I'm thinking here. I'm thinking that we never package anything ever. 
maybe just like fuel like for our vehicles when we're driving around in our jetpack. Maybe biofuel? Maybe. Oh my gosh, and there's even another tab. Dude, no way. You need an entire, <laughs> what? You have to be kidding me now. You need an entire refinery to unpack the fuel. Dude, that, now that is like, that the last like nail in the coffin, I guess. There's no way we're packaging oil or anything. We're having pipelines across the world. That is insanity, just straight up insanity. Oh my gosh, because like the thing with these refineries is they cost an insane amount of power. 30 megawatts each. So there's no way we can just have this stuff like be unpackaged. It's impo- that's no, it's just impossible. So yeah, we're not gonna deal with that for now. Uh, right now, I wanna try and make like a, a semi-decent little plastic uh, factory here. So we'll claim all of the oil nodes here. There's two normals, right? And then another impure over here, if memory serves me right. It does, good. <gasps> Doggo. One day, not today. But then, yeah, well, then we have to get water. And I'm pretty sure there's just a little tiny pond over this way. Hopefully, or else we're gonna have a huge problem with water. <laughs> well, we're in a desert. I guess that kind of comes with the terrain, eh? But nope, there is a little puddle here. A very little puddle. I don't even know if we can get enough water out of this. Oh, okay we can. Okay, cool. So then we have everything we need to make a little fuel area. Okay, so looking over everything and understanding how it works, I decided to try and build ourselves a proper oil system. Now, I, I don't 100% know if this is correct. I was just following the numbers and hoping it was. So. You can do what seems to be a lot with only a little bit of oil. So this entire system right here, which is about, how many foundries are refineries? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten refineries. This all runs off of 120 oil per minute. Crude oil. That's it. So this is a lot more than what oil could do before. And we are making 20, 40, 60 rubber. So 60 rubber and 20, 40, oh wow. Yeah, so 60 rubber and 60 plastic per minute. So that's like a one to one, one oil to one, what is it, oil product per minute. Which is fantastic, really, really good. So that is like, that, that's actually huge. Like, especially when we think of the scale of taking all the oil in the world. That is really, 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 really good. And not only that, though, but we get the fluid as well. The heavy oil residue. So from all this, we get an extra 90 oil residue at two. And that's not worthless either, right? Like, we can turn that into fuel and some other things. Uh, but with the 90 oil residue, we are going to be turning it into fuel. I have one refinery on 50% clock speed, so that's 30, and then another that's going like full throttle, so that's another 60 residue being used, and that makes 60 residual fuel, so 60 fuel per minute, which is really good. And on top of that all, I was unlocking some alternate recipes, and there's these recycling recipes down here, so recycled rubber and plastic, where you can use a little bit of like rubber or plastic. Uh, with the fuel to make even more rubber and plastic, which is like what? Dude, this is so good. Recycling, amazing. So this is an extra 60 plastic per minute or an extra 60 rubber per minute, which is like, dude, that that's like nuts. That's like, gosh, 120 rubber and plastic per minute from one normal oil node with 120 crude oil per minute. Like, pfft, like, that is so much better. Like, screw adding more oil nodes to the map when you can just make them just this much more efficient. That is crazy, dude. Crazy, 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 crazy. And this is just a starter setup. Like, I may have made a mistake here, but this seems to be correct. Each of these guys takes, what is it, 30 per minute? 30 oil per minute? Oh, so wait a second. Oh, I did make a mistake. 
this is 30 oil per minute. That is, hmm, that's only four refineries here. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Things seem too good to be true here. Yeah, we're actually gonna need 180 oil per minute. Well, that's still okay. That's a decent number to work with. Honestly, all the oil math seems to be centered around the number six. So like, just working off of multiples of six really works well. So let's quickly run off and grab Yeel Sluggo Boy. Thank you very much. So there we go, we got 180 oil per minute being extracted here, and that makes this system work. And yeah, you know, I thought this would be worse. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, the real issue is power. Power is gonna be nuts with this system. So we could be making more rubber and plastic, but instead, I'm gonna divert it over to a couple fuel generators over here. Now, the fuel generators, I still don't understand. Like, I don't get the proper math for them. Uh, I looked up on a website that told me that about 90 fuel per minute, which is what we're producing here, will run about five fuel generators. So I'm just kind of going off of that. Yeah, but again, not sure if that ratio is correct. Cool, though. And with the five fuel generators, five times 150, equals 750 extra megawatts. And oh my gosh, this is crazy then. But with this whole system, we have the 10 refineries and the extractor, the one extractor, that's about 350, maybe 360 megawatts we're using. So net, 750 minus 360 is about 390. So we're making, <laughs> that's, that is so crazy. We're making rubber, plastic, and power all at the same time with just 180 crude oil per minute. Like, wow, oil is so good now. And honestly, after writing some numbers, I found it a lot more fun. I like this a lot. I was getting a lot of comments saying, oh, Kibbs, oil's really crazy. But when we're dealing with the simple stuff, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Once we get into uh, the other memes, then we might have a problem, like, Packaging oil, yikes. Dealing with the polymer resin, that's gonna be a, I don't know what's gonna happen with that. <laughs> um, oh, and then, oh, petroleum coke. Yeah, that's like for way later though, so we're not even gonna worry about that. I'm just happy with our little starter system here. And next time, I think we're gonna focus on making ourselves a giant power plant. That is the next thing we need, because power production is pretty uh, meh and we could be doing a lot better. Anyway though, I think that's gonna be all for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and again, if you did, remember to leave a like, and I hope to see you in the next video. But have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs>